In this example, I need to find the exact value of in part a, the inverse cosine of the square root of 3 over 2, and in part b, the inverse cosine of the negative square root of 3 over 2. So quickly reviewing for the inverse cosine function, the input values of the domain are real numbers in the interval negative 1 to 1, including the endpoints, and the output values or the range are angles in the interval 0 to pi, again, including the endpoints. So what this means is that I'm looking for angles somewhere in the shaded region of this unit circle. So I'm looking for positive angles somewhere between 0 and pi. When you first start working on these problems, it's often easier to set your inverse trig function equal to a variable I'm going to pick theta since I'm looking for an angle. And then you just translate this statement. Well, what does it mean? It means that the cosine of my angle theta has to equal the square root of 3 over 2. And don't forget the restrictions. And we also know that theta must lie in the region 0 to pi. The restrictions on theta mean that my angle has to either lie in quadrant 1 or in quadrant 2. I'm looking for the cosine of theta to be a positive number. Remember, the cosine of theta is the x-coordinates of points on the unit circle. The x-coordinate is positive in quadrant 1, and it is negative in quadrant 2. So my angle must lie somewhere in quadrant 1. Here is the point whose x-coordinate is equal to the positive square root of 3 over 2. And this is the angle that produces it. So I know that the inverse cosine of the square root of 3 over 2 equals this angle here, which is pi over 6, or if we're in degrees, it's 30 degrees. So that is the answer to part A. And in part B, I need to find the exact value of the inverse cosine of the negative square root of 3 over 2. The only difference between part B and part A is in part A the argument was positive, in part B the argument is negative. So in part B, all this is asking is find the angle in the restriction of 0 to pi whose cosine is negative the square root of 3 over 2. If the cosine is negative under these restrictions, I have to be in quadrant 2, and here is the point whose cosine value or x value is negative the square root of 3 over 2. This is the angle that produces it. So the inverse cosine of negative the square root of 3 over 2 equals 5 pi over 6, if I want the answer in radians, or if I want to be in degrees, it's 150 degrees. So here is the answer to part B.